Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting integral using Feynman's technique. So the question is evaluate this integral from zero to one, then we have four times sine square of ln x over ln of one over x, then dx. First of all, let's rewrite this. So I'll be rewriting this integral i as now. Okay, equal to um, integral from zero to one, then we have four times sine now square of ln x still. And then let me rewrite this denominator as then negative ln of just dx, and we have dx. First of all, we'll be working on the u substitution, right? So I'll be calling this u as this ln x. That means your x is equal to e to the power of u. That also means your dx is equal to e to the power of u and du. Okay, so using this, let's rewrite this, right? So integral is then... Integral is then going to be equal to, okay, so we have then negative 4, right? So negative 4, integral from negative infinity to 0. Then we have sine square of the u times e to the power of u over now u. And then we have du. And from this, we will be working on another substitution. Let me call this as v substitution. So your v is now, let me call your v as uh, negative u. So using this, we can rewrite this integral as then, now negative 4, now times integral of infinity to 0. And we have now then sine square of v times e to the power of negative v over um, negative v of d of negative v. So that's why we can rewrite this integral again as now i is equal to uh, positive 4 of integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then we have sine square of v times e to the power of negative v over v and dv. Okay. And this is where we can use Feynman's technique, right? So using Feynman's technique, we can call your, say, capital letter of the t, right? It's just going to be now then 4 times integral of 0 to infinity. Then we have sine square of the v times e to the power of negative tv over v and dv. This is going to be defined. An all positive value of the t. Okay, so that's why we already know then your f of 1. Capital letter of f of 1 is this integral. i. And then f capital letter of infinity is equal to zero. Okay, then from this, we can talk about your derivative of capital letter of f of t, right? So we can talk about f prime of t. This is going to be just equal to the negative four integral of zero to infinity. Then we have sine square of v times just the e to the power of negative tv and dv that we can rewrite this using complex number, right? So this is the same thing as then, negative 4 times integral of 0 to infinity, and we can rewrite the sine square of the v part, right? As now e to the power of iv minus e to the power of negative iv over 2i. Okay, then we should square this. And then we can multiply e to the power of negative tv, and we have dv. EV. Okay, then based on this expression, we can just work this out, right? If you work this out, then it has to be um, integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then evaluating this, then it has to be then your e to the power of, okay, say it has to be 2iv. And then, okay, minus 2, and then plus e to the power of the negative 2iv times e to the power of negative tv, okay, and we have dv. And if you work this integral out, then we should have e to the power of, okay, 2i, parenthesis 2i minus t times v over this 2i minus t. Okay, then the second term is now equal to negative 2 times e to the power of uh, negative tv over negative t. And then the third term is now plus e to the power of 
negative two i minus t times v over this negative two i minus t. Okay, then it should be from zero to infinity. And if you work this out, then the first term is equal to one over t minus two i. The second term is now then negative two over t. And then the last term is plus one over t plus two i. So that's why if you combine these two fractions, right, then it has to be two t over t square plus four. And then of course we have negative two over t. Okay, this is what we have. Okay, based on this work, say capital letter T that is greater than one. So for say capital letter T that is greater than one, we already know your capital letter F of T minus capital letter F of one. This is your integral from one to this capital letter T of derivative of your capital letter F of T and DT. Okay, so that is why. Now we can work on your integral. This has to be the same thing as integral from 1 to t. And then you should have this 2t over t squared plus 4 minus 2 over t. And we have dt. This is what we need to evaluate, right? And if you work this out, then it has to be just equal to ln of now t squared plus 4 minus 2 times ln of t. Okay, from 1 to this capital letter of the t. So that's why if you evaluate this, then we should have now then ln, this is equal to ln of capital letter t squared plus 4 um, over t squared minus, now we have ln of 5. And based on this, if you let your t, the capital letter t goes to infinity. So let your capital letter t goes to infinity. Then your capital letter f of infinity is now equal to zero. So that's what we can say. Limit capital letter t is going to infinity. Then for this term, right? So ln of t squared plus 4 over t squared. This is the same thing as just ln of 1, which is now equal to 0. Okay, so based on this, we can say your capital letter F of 1 is then going to be this ln of 5. So that's why what we need to evaluate for this integral is just equal to ln 5. So the answer for this question is ln 5. It's so a pretty interesting integral using Feynman's technique. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.